Hello again, Gary Stearman on a Monday, and it happens to be the 7th of June. Looking at the date on my watch, where does the time go? It's amazing. These are rapid fire times in which we live, and prophetically, that's also true. Before we talk about uh, today's interesting story, I want to give you an update on JR's condition. He's back at the clinic today, Monday, uh, having another session of chemotherapy. And uh, JR takes this uh, onerous, onerous uh, cure with great trepidation because uh, the side effects are just phenomenal. However, his doctor is still encouraged that, that uh, the chemotherapy is having results because all of uh, JR's blood markers are down to what he calls normal. <clears throat> so that's good news. Bad news is he's going to have to endure another session of chemotherapy. Pray for him as you think of him today, uh, tonight, tomorrow, and on through the week. Uh, he really values your prayers. <clears throat> well, I'm looking at an email that we received uh, in response to a program, uh, a webcast that I did last Thursday. If you'll recall, uh, a rabbinical council from Judea and Samaria in Israel has issued a formal statement in which they said that they felt that events, uh, recent events in the Mediterranean having to do with the uh, Gaza aid flotilla uh, and events in uh, Iran, events in Turkey, led them to believe that it is time for the third redemption. Uh, the third redemption meaning, meaning it's time for Messiah to come and rebuild the temple. Well, in response to that uh, news item, I uh, got a, uh, an email with a question from Paula. <clears throat> Paula, I'm not going to give your last name, but you wrote this uh, in response to what I said last Thursday. Since yesterday, I've been mulling over the report of the rabbis in Judea, Samaria, which you brought to us in the Prophecy in the News Daily Update. My question is this, she says, quote, <clears throat> the rabbis spoke of the third and final redemption, and I wonder what they mean by that. Uh, and she speculates here, most probably the first redemption was their deliverance from Egypt. Uh, in the Passover story, what would be the second uh, redemption? Actually, the third redemption, Paula, is the third temple. Uh, in the days of David and Solomon, the first temple was built with the specific idea that the Messianic kingdom was in view. Uh, well, as you know, that didn't work out. There was a great division between Judah and Israel after Solomon's death. Uh, there was apostasy in the land. Uh, Israel fell.